This picture shows the thermostat area of a BMW cylinder head that has been partially damaged by electrolysis. Notice how the aluminum has been eaten away and eroded by the chemical electric reactions. Electrolysis is caused by an electrical current passing through the coolant. A poorly grounded starter can literally destroy a radiator or a head within a matter of weeks, depending on how often the car is started. A smaller current drain, like an electric cooling fan, may slowly erode the components over many months. Make sure to constantly check your grounds. This photo shows the various lines under the rear of the 996. The blue arrow shows the cooling line to the upper right side of the engine. Green arrow the coolant line from the water pump on the lower left engine. The red arrows the heater supply return lines. And the purple arrow the radiator vent line which should not need to be disconnected. If you are just doing a drain in fill that is fine for a standard flush. You want to open all these lines out and flush them with distilled water, but it's not really necessary for a basic flush and fill. The underbody hoses for the 997 connected to the metal pipes from the water pump, the red arrow, to the upper engine block, the blue arrows, heater core hoses, yellow arrows, and vent lines hidden above the green arrow. Remove the coolant drain plug located in the oil pump housing. It's a good idea to open the bleed valve in the coolant expansion tank to help break the vacuum and speed up the draining process. Reinstall the plug. With the coolant drain and the plug reinstalled, you want to move to the coolant expansion tank, red arrow, and the coolant tank, blue arrow, the expansion valve, green arrow. You flip up the metal clip on the bleeder valve to bleed the system. Remember to close the bleeder valve when done. I personally like to use the Porsche factory coolant, which is a little bit more expensive, but specifically formulated for the cars. However, if you use a standard off-the-shelf coolant that meets or exceeds the factory specifications, then that should suffice as well. Plan on using about 5 gallons of coolant if you don't have a center radiator in your car, and 6 gallons if you do. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.